All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation four to the power of x minus two to the power of x is equal to 240. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution. So I'm going to first start with my equation, 4 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 240. And from here, I'm going to rewrite 4 as 2 squared. So I get 2 squared to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 240. Now, I can use the property a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x is going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x. So I have this minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 240. And now I can rewrite 2 to the power of 2x as 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. So I get 2 to the power of x to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 240. Now from here, I'm going to let 2 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So if I substitute in y for 2 to the power of x, I get y squared minus y is equal to 240. And now I can subtract 240 on both sides. So these two cancel out and I get y squared minus y minus 240 is equal to zero. So what I have here is a quadratic equation. And to find the solutions of this quadratic equation, I can use the quadratic formula. So if you guys already didn't know, the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, looking over here, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 240. So I get y is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 240 all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this simplifies to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 960 over 2. And this turns into y is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 961 over 2. So now, the square root of 961 is 31. So I get y equals 1 plus or minus 31 over 2. And now I have two solutions. I have y equals 1 plus 31 over 2 and y equals 1 minus 31 over 2. So my two solutions are 17 and negative 15. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 9 to the power of x is equal to 36. So to solve this equation, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of 9 to the power of x is equal to log of 36. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this turns into b times log a. In this case, I have log 9 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 9 is equal to log 36. And from here, I can divide both sides by log 9. So these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 36 over log 9.
Now I'm going to rewrite log 36 as log of 9 times 4. So I did this because I can use the property log of a times b is equal to log a plus log b. In this case, this turns into log 9 plus log 4, and I have this over log 9. So now this is equal to log 9 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9, which is equal to 1 plus log of 2 squared over log of 3 squared. And if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. In this case, I can move 2 to the front over here, 2 to the front over here. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 2 times log 2 over 2 times log 3. From here, I can cancel out these two 2s. So I get x equals 1 plus log 2 over log 3. Now, log 2 is equal to 0 0.3010, and log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771. So if I divide these two, I get x equals 1 plus 0 0.6309, meaning x is equal to 1.6309. So this is my answer.